In the springtime, busy housewives turn to thoughts of carpet beating, and many modern eaves sigh regretfully for an electric vacuum cleaner. Here you see a beating type of electric sweeper being made. There are 879 parts and 3,631 operations in its manufacture. Then the field calls for the motor are wound, and to this apparatus, which would be more useful in a boy's school for binding up uh, cut fingers, is actually taping the coils. Here you see two different processes in the construction of the motor armature, which will have to drive a fan and beat, sweep and clean a carpet at dizzy speed. Soldering the leads to the armature, which you are now watching, took a lot of thinking out, for the solder only runs exactly where it's required. Here's an idea for your dentist. This machine drills nine holes at once in the motor housing. This small fan provides enough suction to lift a grown-up person. Just imagine what happens to the unlucky microbes and dust which happen to stray in its way. In the development of this small appliance, known as the beta bar, lies one of men's attacks on the three Ds of civilization: dust, dirt and a disease. The bar now being riveted, when mounted on an agitator, gives the carpet over 2,000 taps per minute. You ladies will admit that this is some tapping. This ingenious machine puts the bristles in the brushes which sweep the carpet. This would be handy in the bathroom for rebristling old toothbrushes. Here one of the extensions of the dusting tools is being bent so that it will go into odd corners and otherwise ungetatable places with a minimum amount of stooping and craning by my lady. Nobody ever fell off a stepladder using one of these sweepers. Now the main body of the sweeper is polished to a shiny smoothness before being passed through various plating processes. With the mounting of the strip of rubber begins the efficient final assembly. The chassis passes from one machine to another, arriving at the end a complete electric vacuum cleaner, except for the motor, dust bag and handle. The placing of the all-important beating and sweeping agitator in the machine completes these operations, and the chassis is then ready for mounting of the motor. A fair operator gives the sweeper its final test. See how her hair is being blown by the powerful blast of air. Nothing is left to chance here. Defenseless cleaners are run backwards and forwards over steel bars and are bumped every six inches for 50 miles. And not a single nut or screw must come loose. And at last, milady can make light of her housework, hardly realizing how much care, energy and patience have been spent on her behalf.